My name is Memphis Taylor. I'm reading The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This book, this is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Here's how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say block. Wait, what, that doesn't even mean anything. Bluff. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh, I'm a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? In my head is made of blueberry pizza. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. And now it's time for me to sing my favorite song. A song, really? Do I have to sing glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. And this kid is the smartest kid, too. Because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is a book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like... Oh, uh, no, no, here it comes. Glare got walk on my ground that door. Blaggity, bloggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity. Badungi face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it's completely and utter preposterous. Next time, please, please, please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is too ridiculous to read. The end.